Hey guys, so I'm trying to replace my fuel pump seal on the fuel tank as you can see back there. I think it has a leak in the upper portion so I'm going to check make sure it's not pinched or anything. I do have a little bit of fuel left in the tank so I wanted to drain that before I uh, remove the pump and the seal. So my first plan was to siphon it out of the gas tank. That didn't go so well. I could not get the damn hose down into the tank. I think there's uh, a barrier or a anti-siphon guard or something down there. Um, so that didn't work out. Plan B was to disconnect the fuel filter as you see right in front of you here and um, let the fuel pump do the work for me by jumping the relay. I got this idea from Nick and Time Films to, so uh, shout out to Nick and Time. Thanks for this idea. Um, it seems to be working. Basically you disconnect the fuel holes wherever you want to drain the fuel from. Make sure you got a bucket or um, some fuel um, cans to put the fuel into. And then you're going to want to go up to your relay section in the front of your car here. So here's where your relays are down there. You can see there were four of them. That second one from the front of the car should be your fuel pump relay. And you can see there's four pins down there. If you look at the relay itself, you can see the pin diagram on one side. If I get that to focus. So this is essentially a big switch. When the power goes on, it connects to these um, output terminals. And those terminals are 30 and 87, as you can see. So if you look on the bottom, it should be labeled. Upside down. So 30 is the one on the bottom and 87 is the one on the top and they're kind of like in a T shape. So I went and looked back here and that's the top and bottom one as you're looking at it. So basically you can take a paper clip or what I have is this little jumper wire from my breadboard set that I have. And you just connect those two, and then you can hear the pump go on when you connect these. So that should do the trick. You can see it is draining. This might take a little bit, but it'll get the job done. It's better than driving around or idling. So I feel like that's the best way to get gas out of your tank. Once again, thanks Nick and Time Films for the idea. One thing you want to make sure to do is disconnect that when the fuel is gone. You sure should be able to hear when the fuel is actually drained, otherwise uh, you might burn your fuel pump up. So make sure to disconnect that relay as you get near the bottom. I'm only going to drain a few gallons out just so I can take the, the pump off from the back there. So thanks for watching, let me know if you have any questions.